Hi everyone, welcome. Today, I'm really excited about this. Today, I'm going to go get a brow lamination for the very first time ever. My understanding is that it's kind of like a hair perm. It uh, plasters your, your brow hairs directly up and then they stay there. Now, this interests me because I want my brows to be brushed up, but my brows want to do this and it's not a vibe. So, we're gonna try out the brow lamination today and I'm excited. So what is a brow lamination? So what it is, it's like perming your brow hairs, which makes it easier for them to um, sit up straight. So say it's having to use a gel or anything to hold up into place, it's gonna tame them and control them upwards. So when you brush them in the morning, they're gonna hold up into that position. Amazing, so it's good for unruly brows? Yes, curly brows, unruly brows, thick brows, and for people that don't have much hair, it's really good to give them that full coverage brow. Amazing, can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I can see why this is popular. Yeah. It's kind of like an instant brow glow up. Yeah, oh, it's great. And it just, it actually changes the face, like it the way really it sits. It really does. Brows are key. They are. I'm back. I have been living with this brow lamination for about two weeks now, and I have thoughts to report. All in all, I would say that this has been a massive glow up for my brows. I've never really liked my brows. They've always been a bit of a bug bear with me, but the past week or two I've been like, ooh, ooh, that's cute. So I noticed that my brow hairs are more pliable and more obedient now. If I brush them up, they stay that way. They, they resist falling. I also think that um, the surface area of my brow is a little larger, so they look fuller. So I think this is gonna be a good option for people who have um, perhaps sparse brows and want them to feel like a little bit of a larger brow. I also think that my brows, because they're brushed up, or I keep them brushed up rather, that is my intention, they sit a little bit higher on my face, which almost gives me a little bit of that kind of ponytail facelift thing. So these are my brows without any product at all. And day to day, I just sort of brush them up and I go about my business, really easy. But uh, if I'm doing a full face like I have today and I wanna add a little something something, I'll just take a little bit of a brow pen and I've still got like one or two tiny little ball patches. So I just add a few strokes to create a more fluid brow shape and maybe just extend my unnaturally short tail. But honestly, that's it. Like I'll just add, okay, maybe I'll add a few more, hang on. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> hang on one second. Just a little bit here, I just... You don't need brow gel, but truthfully, I can be a bit rough with my brows, so I like to give them some extra assurance. And also, I'm happy to report that the brow lamination has solved that issue that I was having where my brow tails continually want to face down. They now face upwards towards my temple, and I'm feeling great about it. So in conclusion, the brow lamination has the Karima tick of approval and this is definitely something that I'm going to incorporate into my regular routine. Have you tried a brow lamination? Tell me what you think in the comment section. 